for another video. Hope you liked the Kevin Kyle interview. So this week we're joined with the Shinori goalkeeper Max Curry. <laughs> from Patterson, denied by Max Curry, sets up Davis, and again repelled by Max Curry. Actually, I thought you were the worst dresser at the club, but who is the worst dresser? Nice easy one to start, worst dressed, without a doubt, Big Scouse. Reason being, he has a pair of Under Armour trainers on navy blue, look that have been through the walls, and he wears them everywhere. Wears them to training games, wears them to bed at night, they're horrendous. So for that reason, big scows. You've been with Sonora for five years now. What's your highlight? The highlight would definitely be playing regular first team games. Um, I was obviously there for a couple of years on the bench um, and just kind of was floating about playing some games with the 20s. But then when Cammy left, I think he went to Forest Screen Rovers and the manager gave me a chance and luckily enough I've been able to keep it. So definitely my highlight would be um, securing a number one spot. Being a Rangers fan, what did it feel like to run out at Ibrox? It felt great running at Ibrox. Uh, it felt great running at any club with a big crowd, I'm sure. But it was also that bit special being a Rangers fan. And normally in my spare time, I go to the Rangers games. Obviously my mum, dad, my brothers, my pals up in the Stranara end right enough. But um, it just it felt amazing running out knowing that they were there. And as I say, playing against your, your team that you support. Well, 
So there's been some great goalies at Schnorr for the past couple of years. Who's the best at goalie wars? You know, I've defeated most people I've played at goalie wars, but the only person that I can actually recall losing a game to is Connor Brennan and Big Eric Phillips who's got it in video. He still shows me it often, posts it on Facebook, so the best at goalie wars has to be Connor Brennan. Who's the best player you've played with and why? Best player I've played with, um, despite having played with some decent players when I was younger at Motherwell, but um, I'd say the best all-round player that I've played with is Kyle Turner. Just watching him week in, week out, he was just he everything that a midfielder needs to have, um, and his ability is very, very good. Who's the best player you've played against and why? Best player I've played against... Um, do you know, despite having played against Rangers Celtic, where there's been a lot of good players playing, but the one player during the game, I thought that he was a very much a standout, and is Dylan Easton. I remember playing against Four for a couple of years back, up at Four Four, and just during the game, I was like, he's a real player. Um, it was very good, and any time I've played against him since, I think he plays a Kelty now, but um, even when he was at Four Four last season, any time I played against him, he was a real standout. So. For that reason, I would say Dylan Easton. My next door neighbour, Andrew Rankin, wanted to ask you this question. What's the best save you've had? This question's for Andrew Rankin. My best save, I think I'd have to go for, we won 2-0 last season at home to Montrose and I had a save late on the game for the left back. He, uh, he caught a volley for about seven yards out and um, I managed to get up and touch it over the bar. And at the time I was thinking, how did I get that? So, for that, I'd say that's it. What person would you most like to meet and why? Uh, I would have said Adam Sandler I'd have liked to have met, but I watched Shutter Island last night and the film is unbelievable. If you've not seen it, I'd recommend that you watch it ASAP. So, for that reason, I'd like to have met Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I'd like to ask him a lot of questions about that movie. He played it so well, and I'd like to know some of the thinking behind it. Who's the most famous person in your phone book? Most famous person in my phone book. Pretty boring, but it would have to be Jonathan Johansson. Um, just, he was my manager when I was younger at Motherwell. And it would be him for the reason being he's an internationalist and he played with Rangers when they were a very, very good side. Do you have any funny football stories? I don't actually have any funny football stories. The only one I can think was on a night out once, Ryan Thompson's phone ran out of battery, so he had to go into McDonald's and use one of the iPads to get in contact with the rest of the team again. Who's the best golfer at the club? Best golfer at the club, without a doubt, me. You know, Chris Aitken talks a good game, always tells me he's a man to beat, but any time I've called him out, he has absolutely bottled it. So, best golfer, me. Are you going to stay at Snore next season? Because I want you to. Well, I'll be back at Stair Park next season. Um, I'm hopeful to be back, but I'll need to speak to the manager and see what his plans and thoughts are for me, and we'll take it for there. Thanks, Max, for this week's interview. Everybody, please remember to like and subscribe. Come on, the blues.